The problems that tormented the Apache chief Cochise did not vanish when the war drums stopped beating. Strangely, it was his own fierce love for his people and his desire to protect them that brought about one of his greatest troubles. by the people who lived here long before the Apaches came. They were the people who dwelled in the cliffs. And only such things as this remain to tell us that once they were here. It is like that sometimes with people. They grow smaller and smaller in numbers and finally vanish from the earth. It will not be like that with your people, Cochise. I will keep this to remind me that it must not be. Will you stay with us? Got to get back to the agency. Goodbye, Tanita. Goodbye, Mr. Jeffords. Logan. You look for me? I have come to offer the horses for the hand of your niece, Marshila. They are handsome animals. And will Marshila look with favor upon my gift? <laughs> I will speak to her at once. Marshila! You have been away from the stronghold. I have been in Tucson, Cochise. You should not go there alone. I go to see my friends, Dr. Martin and his wife. They are good people. No harm could come to me. There are those in Tucson who are not friends of the Apaches, men who are dangerous. Are you afraid I will find the white man's world to my liking? You are Apache. You belong here with your people. It is time you learned that. I am proud to be Apache. But you have said we are to learn to live with the white man in peace. Then why do you build a wall around me? To live in peace with a white man does not mean you must give up your own people. You will marry Togan. He's presented the wedding horses. Togan? I shall consider his proposal. There is nothing to consider. You will accept the horses. By what right does Cochise decide for me what is in my heart? The right of one who has been like a father to you. I have spoken to Marcella. I think she will accept the horses. Cochise has told me that you will accept my gift. Marcella! Even if she has gone to Tucson, I can't order her back. There is nothing in the treaty which forbids her to live with the whites if she chooses. But she is my betrothed. She has accepted the wedding horses. Sounds to me as though Cochise accepted for her. Marcela's heart belongs to Togan. This I know. Perhaps. But have you given her a chance to say so? She has spirit like an unbroken pony. It takes a strong hand to guide her. Sometimes a spirited pony does better under a gentle rein. Why are you so concerned about this, Cochise? Is it because she is your niece? It is more than that. Because she is of my blood, my people look upon her with respect. Many like Marshila have curious eyes to the white man's world. Where she goes, they may follow. This cannot be. I understand your fear. The Chiricahuas must not vanish like the cliff people. That is why I accepted the peace. They will not be destroyed. I'll go to Tucson. Talk to her. And I will go with you. No, Togan. Let me talk to her first. 
Very well. But if Agent Jeffords does not bring her back, I will. Gal, one that acts like a princess. Excuse me. Hello, princess. Please. What's the matter? Don't you remember me? Pete Hartley? Introduced myself the other day. I have asked you to leave me alone. What's your hurry? Don't you want to get acquainted? Don't rush off now. We whites and Indians are at peace now. Or ain't you hurt? Leave me alone. I do not like you. What's the matter, Pete? Can't you handle her? Sure. I guess I better use sign language. <laughs> wow, Leave that... me alone! That's enough, Pete. <laughs> girl alone. I was just trying to make friends. Ain't that what you want us to do with them Apaches? They don't want your kind of friendship. What's the idea, Jeffords? You married an Indian girl once, think you got them all to yourself? You'd better get out of here. All right, Jeffords. I'll leave it to you. The time being. <laughs> I want to talk to you. If you've come to take me back, I will not go. What started this, Marshila? Why did you come here? Did Kochi send you? Well, not exactly. Togan is unhappy that you left. He wants you back at the stronghold. I am not going back. I will stay here in Tucson. Why? I wish to be treated as a woman, not as a prisoner or a possession. Kochi has said we are to learn the white man's ways. Very well, I will learn them, here among the whites. But this is no place for you. You saw what just happened. You'd be alone, unprotected. I will be neither alone nor unprotected. Hello, Jeffers. Hello, Doc. Marshall, I've been looking for you. What do you think of my new assistant? You've given her a job? Sure. Bright young women who are willing to work are mighty scarce in this territory. I want to teach her to be a nurse. Well, she came to me, you understand. I thought you'd be all for it. Don't you want the whites and the Indians to get together? Oh, of course I do. What shall I tell Togan? Tell him that what I do is not against him. And not against Cochise. Surely not against Cochise. Tell him that there are things I want to learn here good things, and that until I learn them, my life can have no other happiness. That's an unusual girl, Tom. Now, my Sheila, you're doing a fine job around here. Thank you, but there is much to learn. Well, you're learning fast. A few more weeks and you'll be a regular qualified nurse. I hope so. <laughs> well, I have a few calls to make. I'll be back in a little while. Do you like it here, Marshima? Are you happy? It is good working for you, and I am grateful for all you have taught me. But sometimes I... Get a little bit homesick, huh? Sometimes. <laughs> well, that's natural enough. Maybe someday you'll go back to your own people. Teach them what you've learned here. Maybe. Of course you will. Of course you will.
indigestion's bothering me, boys. I think I'll go see the doc. Doc just left. Yeah, that's what I mean. Princess, remember me? What do you want? Doc here? He is away. I'll wait. I've been wanting to talk to you. I ain't used to being slapped, not in front of my friends. I thought you might want to apologize. I am not sorry. Maybe I can make you change your mind. Let go of me! Let go of me! Dangerous hands about me! Go again! This man, he is hurting you? No, Dogen. So I am all right. I just want to find Dr. Martin. I have come to take you home. You do not belong here. Dogen, please. You will come with me. Looks like the Indian knows how to handle her. Get out of here, Indian. This is not the white man's business. Maybe I'll make it my business. No. I will come with you, Dogen. Better not tangle them Apaches, Pete. You ain't doing so good. Get down off that horse, Indian. No, Togan. It will mean trouble. I do not want trouble with the white man. What's the matter? Scared? You got a rifle there. Afraid to use it? How about it, Indian? You want to settle this? Hold it, Pete! Drop it, Pete! Got you! Start that drop! You're crazy, Jeffords. That Indian kidnapped the girl and tried to kill me. I saw what happened. The next time... If I'll... there is a next time, I'll run you out of the territory myself. Now get going. to avoid trouble with the white men. Now I will go back. How can you wish to live among such people? Listen first to what I have to say. I will listen. Look at me. I am not good at words. But the eyes sometimes say what the tongue cannot speak. I like the words your eyes are saying. It is the marriage wiki up. It is for us. But it is the woman who should build the marriage wiki up. It is I who should have done this. It was done by my sisters at Cochise's orders. Cochise. And did he order you to bring me here? No, Marshila. But he has said that you belong here among your own people. And he will be glad that you are back. I have not come back. Nor will I. But I have said that I love you all. The marriage wiki up has been built. A woman does not enter the marriage wiki up at the point of a gun. You're angry with Cochise and you blame me. Angry with Cochise? Of all men, he is the wisest. And yet I have a life. 
And whether I am wise or not, I must lead it my own way. Even if that is not Cochise's way. You prefer the white man's world to what I have to offer. Perhaps I do. With all its badness, the white man's world is free. I will not live behind a wall or in a cage. Come in. Do you wish to speak to me? Where is Togan? Why do you ask me? He has done a foolish thing. He has stolen Marshila from the home of the doctor where she works. Togan is young. His blood races for Marshila. He came to town armed. Got in a fight with a white man. Do you know where they are? Then you must tell me. I will not. Marshila has chosen to make her home in town. You and Togan have no right to interfere. What's more, she's making a success of her life there. It is this that I fear. The richer her success, the more it hurts my people. Marshila is clever, intelligent. But what of the other girls, the young ones? What will become of them if they follow Marshila's path? They will become servants, or worse. I will not see them destroyed this way. I have brought Marshila here so that Agent Jefferson may take her back to her friends in Tucson. Wait! The white men are angry. They may be looking for you. Do not go near the town. There will be no more trouble. I will not stay here without Marshila. Where are you going? Our brothers to the north live closer to our past. I will join them. We are at peace. And yet I lose my people as surely as if they were killed in battle. It is you who have brought this about by your stubbornness and your refusal to accept your own people's ways. Go back to your white man's world. Go back to your friends in Tucson. You have made your choice. You are no longer welcome at the stronghold. Cochise, wait. Is this what you want, Marshila? No, this is not what I want. Listen to her, Cochise. She does not want to leave. Neither does Togan. You are the one who has driven them away. I? Marshila loves Togan. But you have never given her a chance to speak for herself. You are so afraid of losing her to the white man's world that you've tried to force into a marriage with Togan. It is not enough to live in peace. If your people are to grow as you want them to, you must let them see and hear and learn about the new world in which they're going to live. And that does not mean the end of your people. It can mean the beginning. Saddle up. Take you back to town. That's him, boys. That's the one we're looking for.
ground. Now, wait a minute, Shepherds. I said throw him on the ground. your next time, didn't you? That redskin tried to kill me in Tucson. I was just protecting myself. Protecting yourself? Riding 20 miles out of town to gun a man down? You're gonna have a hard job selling that to the marshal. Marshal? I'm taking you three in. We'll take him to the agency. I'll bring the doctor back from town. I will stay with Togan. I have learned enough to care for him until Dr. Martin arrives. You know how to handle one of these? Yes. If one of them moves, use it. He's going to be all right now. Just keep an eye on him, Jeffers. See that he stays quiet. I will. Thanks for coming, Doc. Anytime, Tom. You coming, Marshima? Yes. I am ready. Togan. How is he? He's going to be all right. Doctor says he's going to live. That is good. Marshima, I have something to show you. I am returning the wedding horses. I was wrong in deciding for you. Coming, Washima? I will stay here, Dr. Martin. Togan will need a nurse. I'll bring her to town when Togan is well. I will not be going back to town. When Togan is well, he will need a wife. And this time, you can build your own wiki up in a place of your own choosing. It can happen that a man can want so hard to do the good thing for his people that in the end he does the wrong thing. It is then he must not be ashamed to say he is wrong. It takes a great leader to realize that, Cochise. Sometimes a leader must follow his people as well as lead them. Marcella, when Togan is well and you become his wife, you and the others must continue to learn the ways that will help our people. As my brother said, that can be the beginning, not the end. None of your people truly ever wants to walk away from you, Cochise. Not I, nor anyone else. 